this world of things, apparently solid and liquid and gaseous, you know, the world of things that we perceive before us actually is totally insubstantial. It's, it's, it's here with the, with the reality that we know, and yet it's all apparition. It's all a movie. It's all, in fact, a dream. A fairy tale. A fairy tale. And it's not really here the way we think it is. I mean, it's here, but what being here means is not what we take it to be. The real experience, in a sense, is all of them together. Mm -hmm. It's when we call that sort of um, shinku. Or shinku? Yeah, uh -huh. a true vast nothing. Mm -hmm. Shunyata is, is, you know, it does mean something like emptiness. So it gets translated that way. Um, but there simply are no words for what it's attempting to designate. That great, crazy Tibetan teacher, Chulyan Trumper, he said, Shunyata, it's like falling out of an airplane. Bad news is that you haven't got a parachute. <laughs> The good news is there's no ground. Yeah. That's not bad. Right? Yeah, I know. I think so yeah. too. I, think I mean, so you know, but actually, <laughs> even then, though, that conveys some sense of space, whereas the real, the real shunyatas, space and time are gone. We discover that space is, let's say, it's a property of phenomena. It's not that phenomena exist in space, but space itself is developed, let's say, with the Big Bang, so to speak, that there was no space. Now, the point, I, I think what we see in one of these experiences is that what predates the Big Bang is still here. Every moment is simply that functioning in the way it does. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Now, I know one of the puzzles for people not familiar with this tradition is they hear something like emptiness, they hear me talking about nothing at all or something, and it doesn't sound particularly nice. Yeah. It sounds very nihilistic even. It's not at all. It's, it's the most incredible, it's the, we're going to the birthplace of everything. The birthplace of every moment. So we're going to the most fertile, yeah. fecund, generous, creative potentiality that there could ever be. Is where we're is where is what we're discovering. It just happens to be nothing at all. But if we think that that therefore we sort of get we, we, we're aiming for that or something, we're going to get sort of stuck down oh, there. Wrong. You're dead. It's not about that. It's, 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 we actually say that if you taste, if you fall into, if you discover the real nothing. Everything then becomes wondrous being. It's a Zen saying, wondrous being. Dogen said, great master Dogen from the 13th century Zen master, he said, um, at some point, the treasure chamber opens by itself and we use the treasure at will. I mean, he's talking about sitting, standing up, walking, drinking a glass of water, treasure, all of it is treasure. And this is part of the Zen tradition, actually. It has an emphasis on the ordinary things, because it doesn't regard um, ordinary, ordinary things as any less wondrous.